guys we have biden we have mccarthy coming to a resolution this is the clarity that we wanted in regards to the crypto space as you can see from this chart we've been consolidating in this region of around a twenty-six thousand five hundred dollar area is this what we needed guys in order for us to continue to the upside for the bulls to come out of their cage and start roaring on and continuing us to newer local highs guys i think this is the perfect timing they're coming to a solution they're sitting on the table they're saying okay we're coming to an agreement because we don't want the stock market to crash we don't want the treasuries to crash we don't want social securities to crash we don't want these government assistance programs to basically crash we don't want the other countries to look at us and say okay look if you're already coming close to defaulting we're not going to be investing in u.s treasuries because look the interest rates on those things the interest that's coming out of those treasuries are going to be affected because the united states if it defaults are not going to be able to pay those interests that are, are coming out of the treasuries guys so the other countries are looking at this and they're saying to themselves okay should we be investing is united states trustworthy overall okay are they credible well they've been credible for a long period of time but if they are close to defaulting that's a very bad sign guys okay just coming close to try and default on your debt is a very bad sign for other countries not to start you know to stop trusting you overall we can see that the u.s debt continues to essentially climb it's more than 31 trillion dollars overall and the debt ceiling will continue to rise overall now is the united states ever going to pay their u.s debt back I don't think so guys and this is the whole narrative and why we are in the Bitcoin crypto space now what I want to usher you into is that look if we look on the weekly guys we are coming to close out the month of May and usually June okay 330 days leading into that next halving is pretty bullish pretty bullish for Bitcoin guys because if we look at 2020 guys okay we went up about 90 one percent okay and i've marked that out for you guys so you can see during the month of june the year before the halving okay 330 days before the halving very very bullish right here guys you can see 91 percent we went up okay same scenario happened in 2015 2016 guys so 2016 was the halving and then a year during that summer year before that we went about 48 percent to the upside same situation here in 2012, uh, 2012 guys okay the first having itself we went up about 127 percent now these are basic statistics that we're looking at nothing is guaranteed these are only probabilities guys so always do your homework always have a best case scenario that drives your overall narrative guys we need to look at key data to understand where we're actually heading i'm just providing you with some data however you can actually add on to this now based off of our strategy that we're looking at we i'm not going to continue to repeat that but if we on the two day touch the 55 day moving average which is the green line that you see here every time we come to that 55 day moving average we bounce off of it we have about an 80 percent chance that we go up average about 40 to 45 percent now if that's the case it puts us around thirty six thousand dollars to a 45 percent puts us around thirty eight thousand dollars which is very very good guys so we know that june is very bullish we are getting some clarity okay in regards to what's happening with the u.s debt and we also have that 55 day moving average coming into play which is going to be driving that narrative saying look we still have a lot of fight in this market the bulls still have a chance to basically push us a lot further now consolidating in this region gave us a little bit of plateau a support structure for us to actually bounce off of now we do know that thirty thousand dollar has been key resistance overall we came twice trying to retest that first time we got rejected however the third time might be a charm breaking above that guys because we do know we have some resistance of confluence in this area and that again this has been acting as very heavy resistance overall on the macro picture guys but what i want to shift your attention to 
again, away from this, that we know, look, the social securities will be impacted, okay? We know that the government assistance programs will be impacted. The U.S. treasuries will be impacted. A lot of things will be impacted in regards to this. But the good news is, okay, that Jack Levin is saying here, two months ago, I wouldn't say this. Now I believe that Bitcoin will spark the next bull, mar bull market in, in crypto, guys. We've been discussing this in the past couple of months. We've been saying that, look, Zen is on the right path with Bitcoin overall, which is what's happening with BRC20. Jack is getting on the boat in regards to what we've been discussing here. That's why you're subscribed. You like this channel, guys. Help the algorithm in regards to the channel. Get it out for as many people as you can. Because we've been discussing about this narrative, okay? That, look, Bitcoin has never in history had more user utility than it has right now, guys. With the Taproot upgrade that Bitcoin just had, that is very major because you just right now in the first time of bitcoin history you have user utility come into bitcoin smart contract capabilities okay where you don't actually just have to hold bitcoin but you can actually participate pay in, in sats into brc20s you can start inscribing you can start stamping the guys this is very major overall with the nerve we've been discussing in the past couple of months bitcoin will do a lot more damage to the upside than it has done in the past few years, guys. That means, look, we can go and break above $64,000. We can try to go up against $70,000 and even $100,000. But, but, most people, you always have to have a contrarian view, guys. Most people believe that, look, whatever happened in the past... It has to occur the same way in the future. And that's never the case, guys. Future indication is not always the case, guys. The past is not always a future indication. Because if more people are watching the same thing that you're watching, right? That means nobody's actually thinking here, okay? You have to have a contrarian view. And the contrarian view is that we might actually have a run, a very substantial run in Bitcoin before the halving, guys. Okay, and then nearing the having, maybe we might have a dump, guys, because nobody thought before, based off of the current trends and past in Bitcoin's history, nobody thought that we would come back, retest the previous bull market highs, guys. And we did. We came very, very close to testing those guys. Very, very close. We broke below twenty thousand dollars. Okay, we broke below twenty thousand dollars. You can see here we came and and. We broke below it and we came below it, guys. Around $15,000 was our local bottom here, okay? Nobody thought that that trend could have been broken, but it did break. Now, you also have to have a contrarian view in regards to the next, again, bull cycle that's going to be happening here, guys. All right, so I'll leave you off with that. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Until next time, bros, as always, stay profitable.